Hello everyone, this is Mr. Elbronin here again, and today I'm here for my early breakdown on Horse. The character that we've been waiting for for a while is finally here. Finally we can play with Hawks. <laughs> now, um, let's just get straight into his buttons and start showing him off. So his regular attack string is a three-big attack string. Uh, it launches the opponent far away in the air. It's a three input attack string, but it has some multi-hits in all of the hits. So it's like one, two, then one, two, and then a bunch at the end. But they're quite similar. You just like a lot of attack strings, you're often not going to do the whole thing unless you're comboing into a spot or one. Because you can't really get anything after it. None of this plus like the great string. His red attack has pretty good range. You can connect it from a decent distance. The only downfall is that it's kind of slow and it's very obvious when it's coming because he's like bright red. You can combo off of it, which is great. So, you know, that just gives him some like damaging free combos, letting him start in the air. There we go. Decent damage for no dash cancels. And it also can wall slide if it's in the wall, which is unusual because it always st already starts combos, but now you put them in the wall. Which I guess just lets you have better positioning to start your new combos. His yellow attack on the ground is this like double wing flap where the opponent's left spinning and then they fall over. And you can use this to extend combos. And yeah, that, that's like what you, you can be using for most of your combos. If you're doing two hits into the yellow attack and then into the some get some decent damage. That wasn't optimal, but that's just an example of what you can be doing. Um, in the air, his yellow attack is this like multi hitting spin attack, and obviously, you're just gonna be doing that after two hits in the air, and then cancel it into another quirk button. Oopsie. That's a damaging way of ending your combo. Even that was pretty high damage. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Quick note on his um dashes, by the way. So obviously he has a pretty decently long dash and it has decent speed. But when he's in the air, he can actually control the movement of his dash. So if I go to dash in, I can actually swerve around and fly, which is pretty great. Um, he doesn't have extra jumps, like, um, uh, Tam Tamaki does, but, um, he has this really cool fly move, and he can throw, like, projectiles from it that are really fast. So it's an interesting, uh, uh, mobility tool, like, to, like, psych your opponent out and, like, think you were gonna dash right in their face, and then you can actually, like, can go the other way. It's unusual, I haven't really found a use for it, but I'm sure there is some use for it. <laughs> Okay, let's get into his quirk buttons. So his quirk one is this like launching feather projectile move. I wouldn't say it's a zoning project. <coughs> Sorry, I wouldn't say it's a zoning projectile move. It's just kind of like Jiro's projectile in that it ends like that. Like it doesn't go full screen. It doesn't really go that far at all. Um, you can mash the button and then it will do more hits, and they still go the same distance. But you will do that you know, to get more damage. It will do like three thousand instead of. Oops. Oh my god. 3000 instead of 2100, so you match that, you get some nice extra damage. And it works the exact same in the air. So basically, it's just gonna be his like main, like, if you don't want to engage and run in pressing buttons or whatever, because you know, you can be punished really easily with a sidestep mechanic in this game. Just throw out some of these, you know. They're a good projectile, they do decent damage. And you can also, if you see that they hit, you can do a dash cancel. Oops. And get a combo. So if I'm like in the air, and I see that they hit, and dash cancel and get a simple, a simple combo off of it, which is pretty nice. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, and that's basically the main use of this move. It's not really a good um, zoning tool, but it's a good spacing tool. And it also is 
because it does quite a bit of damage, you can use it as a good combo extender and combo ender. So sometimes instead of doing the arm attack just into this arm, um, it's like grab move of his, you can actually go to this other move and then end it with this, and then that also does really good really damage. So yeah, it can, and you also use it as a combo extender. Uh, it can be a bit tricky, but it does really good damage to when use as a combo extender. There we go, and that's how you're going to do a lot of these basic combos. Okay, um, his Tilt Quirk one is a really interesting move. So he just launches out a bu bunch of feathers, but like swing back and fro, like they zigzag across the screen, until they get to like where the opponent is, in which they like kind of like zoom around and try and hit them. So if I do it from full screen, you can see how they kind of like zigzag around, and you can actually control which way they do the zigzag, like if you make them go left, you can make them go left, um, see left or right. Which I think is an interesting implementation, but basically, as you can see, they don't do any damage. <coughs> They're mainly just tools that are very plus on block. <laughs> oh my god. They're very plus on block, and you can also get a combo off of them for free if you think that they're good. So if I launch one out from over here, and I think the opponent's gonna be down and get hit by them, I can dash in and get a combo off of them. I can do a dash cancel if I want to make him more damage, but essentially, they're just very good um, spacing and pressure tools from a distance. So I wouldn't really say they're zoning, since you're not going to do like, literally any damage from them. But they are extremely plus on block, and you can throw out multiple at a time. See this? There are all these projectiles coming out, and I can make them go left and right. And these are very plus on block. So if I throw one out like here, I can actually throw out my um, other projectiles before those even hit it. Which is really interesting. So, but say if I throw these out, I don't know if I'm like scared because you know they'll swing back around and hit them. So if I throw these around here, I can dash in and press buttons, or I can do this and do my red attack. Oops, it didn't go very far. If they're scared of it swinging around, I'll go in and do my red attack. If they're scared of those hitting them. Or if it's from a further distance, I can dash in a bit and do my projectile, and then they have to block all of that. And that does a pretty decent amount of guard pressure. Yeah, it is a very unique tool, hard to use like effectively, but um, is a very good tool nonetheless. See, it does quite a lot of guard work. Um, and he has a lot of good mobility tools that he can use to um, ensure this like pressure. So basically, like even if I do it after like a combo string, the opponent has to be scared of this move, even if it doesn't hit, if I, because I do it up close, like if I do it, no, I'm not here, but like from here, it doesn't actually hit the opponent, but if they move or do any kind of, um, like walking or dashing or sidestepping, they're gonna get hit by this because it like swirls around them, so basically if the opponent's trying to run around, this move is almost like guaranteed to hit, because they have really good tracking, like obviously it's not like super guaranteed, but they slow around a lot, and they're not like running exactly like horizontal, they're really likely to get hit by it. I'll go to a really good job so the move. But essentially it actually back in the air as well. Yeah, it's a really good tool for like enforcing the opponent to be like a bit more chill. This, this isn't a great example because the AI um, that's just really ridiculous. But basically, you know, if the opponent's running around, these cover a lot of the screen, they travel really far have a huge hitbox, and will chase down your opponent, and then if they do get hit by them, you get a combo, and if they decide to block them, you're very plus, and you can go in and attack, and there's nothing they can do about it, If depending on how you time it, there's also like, not even a gap for them to sidestep, your red attack, put them on the wall, Oops, messed up the combo, but you can see the essence of what's going to be happening. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically this tool. It's a very unusual one, more of a setup tool and a pressure and a zoning tool. But you know, from a distance, you can also get a combo if you decide to block it. Oh, a quick note on his quirk one, by the way. If he's doing his um like controlled dash in the air. 
he can actually press the Quark 1 button and it'll just do like a launch out like as he's flying and just these quick little projectiles which are pretty good like you know because they're probably one of the fastest projectiles in the game because they don't have really any startup animation they just come out instantly when you're flying so they're pretty good projectiles like you know as you're flying around just throw these out and you can also combo off with them I believe so it's kind of like Seiji's fingers when he throws them out when he's dashing so you can just be dashing around and if you face the opponent and then you see if he thinks that you're gonna hit them with those you get some good combos <laughs> okay. Um, now for his part two, it is this kind of like Nijere S lunge at the beginning, but he just grabs the opponent and knocks him down, and it's just basically 100% a combo end. It's not really used for anything else. It doesn't really dodge anything, it doesn't reach that far, and it's definitely very unsafe on block. But, you know, it's a pretty decent damaging combo ender. You're going to be using this at basically the end of all of your combos. So you're in the air and you do something like this. It's a yellow attack. It's just a very good move. You're not really going to get anything after it ever, because you're using dash cancel. Like, they just get knocked onto the floor or something, so yeah, it's not really that useful. But... Also, can't cancel into plus also. Maybe I haven't tested him too much with supports and stuff. He might be able to get combos with uh, uh, characters like Aizawa or something. Where is he? Where was Aizawa? <laughs> yeah, anyways. Yeah, I'm sure with certain sports like Hero or something, you'll be able to. Yeah. Anyway, that's basically that move in a nutshell, it's the exact same thing you can yeah, combo in Okay, um, his Tilt Quark 2 is this interesting mobility move, so he can... So his Tilt Quark 2, normally it'll just do this like move towards the opponent, where he just like rides towards them, they're left spinning, and they can't recover. You can also cancel it into other buttons, which is really good. Um, you can even cancel it into other buttons before he even comes out. You see how it's like about to happen, and then I cancel into the wings. So it's like he's about to do the dash, but then he cancels the wings. So like when you do put some pressure or kick out so they think you're gonna charge him, you actually like... And then just go for the plus on the block projectiles, and before he even comes out, destroying projectiles. So that's pretty good um, mix up he has with this. And you can also press the button again to do a second dash, which is kind of just like a high damaging combo ender. And also from a distance, it reaches really far to um, get it on the opponent super quickly. So if you know, you're getting around, say if you do the one sideways to like get out of the way of a projectile. So if I, say if you know, you're fighting against a toga or something, and you see that she throws out a projectile, you do the sideways one, you do the sideways, oh my god, what am I doing? You do the sideways, the sideways one, there we go. You do the sideways, sideways one, and then you can dash in on her and punish her projectile. So you dodge it with this one, and then zoom in with the second. You know, just some interesting, kind of almost Gran Torino-like mobility. Um, good for some dodges. But also, the first hit, um, you can use in extending some combos, since you can do it and then cancel it into another quad. And then get some high damaging combos that way. So that's how you're going to be doing some of your, like, a little bit more complex combos, because sometimes it can be a bit hard to time, especially since if you're cancelling off of it, you want to make sure that you're not accidentally cancelling it. So see how here, if I do two hits, you can really dive into this, and I'm cancelling into the, um, the feathers. If I do it too early, they're actually not going to get hit by it, because I haven't let it all come out, so I need to wait for them. Oopsie. I need to wait for them to get hit by it, and then cancel it. Which can be a little bit tricky sometimes. But you're getting good damage from it, so I guess it's worth it. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's basically that move in a nutshell as well. I don't believe it has um, projectile avoiding properties. Oh, look, it does. 
I eat my words. I predicted it, though. I didn't know that, but I guessed. It's just too pro. So yeah, if you do this move, you can get three projectiles and kind of shit. So that toga example that I used before, so if you think that I can use a projectile, you use this. Not only will you might be able to dodge that projectile, but you can just go straight through it. You don't take any, it's not like you're armoring through it. You don't take zero damage from the, you take zero damage from the projectile, and because of the charge afterwards, you can also punish them for it. So yeah, that's a really good move to use against him. So Hawks actually seems like people were scared that he was going to be his owner, but he actually seems like a really good counter. So he has this like poking tool with this like short range projectile. He has this plus on block thing, like where he throws out these feathers. Stop coming towards me. And then also if he thinks they're going to throw a projectile, he has this move, which does completely negate projectiles and like punches them. So very good stuff. Very good stuff. Um. This plus ultra one is um, pretty good. It's very consistent. It'll hit off of like basically anything. You can't do it in the air. It's only a ground plus ultra, but it's very consistent. And like no matter what kind of hit you do, you'll be able to get it off. And I'm also very sure that you'll be able to um, combo off of it in some way. Uh, like maybe using Kami or Jiro or something. Oh, that helps. Oh my god. Just punch the wall. Damn it. This gliding actually screwed me up there. Dude, get on the wall. Oh my god, wait, can you, can you knock out on walls after wall splash? So yeah, it is pretty easy to support archers, especially since I left in that one for a while. Come on, get on the wall. Okay, there we go. It's just a bit weird timing because he has... because <laughs> he can, like, fly around so you need to make sure you're not doing any directional inputs as you fly onto the wall. But yeah, I'm sure you can use that um, with support. Yeah. There we go, zero dash cancels, and that's gonna be some pretty good damage. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, so now let's just get into the combos that you're gonna be doing. So, um, the best combo that I found is you can two hits into the yellow attack, you can cancel it into his, um, Tilt Quark 2, and then cancel the Tilt Quark 2 into his Quark 1, not too early, like I am now. Um, and you have to make sure you let the other hits of the Quark 1 come out of flow, or it will the ground for some reason. So it can be a bit tricky, and I'll show some easier combos after this. Oh my goodness. This. And here we go, that's going to do about 9,100, 9,200, that's pretty decent damage, that's very average, maybe a bit above average, but you know, getting some good damage is always good. <laughs> um, if you want to simplify the combo, you can always do things like two hits into the red attack, I mean into the yellow attack, into the, like just the feathers. I think you're having some trouble with, um, oh, two hits into the yellow attack into the feathers, um, or you can do two hits into the, this into the feathers, you can get a bit easier, take out the yellow attack completely, and if you do stuff like that, you know, it's gonna be a bit less damage, but it's gonna be a bit easier to do, to do the, like, timing of the yellow attack, and it makes it a lot easier and a lot more consistent, but I like going for the tricky attempts. High risk, high reward. <laughs> um, yeah, and his red attack, if you try to combo off of it, it leaves him in the air, so you're just gonna do the air portion of your combos. Um, so just two hits into the yellow attack. Um, actually, if you want to extend your combos in the air, because you can't dash cancel after this, I actually suggest your combo in the air looks something like two hits into the yellow attack. Into his tilt quad 2, into the feathers again. So kind of very similar to on the ground, except you're in the air. So basically the exact same as on the ground, except in the air. So if you want to get a combo off with the red attack with the dash cancel. Oops, I didn't dash cancel. Um, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> the, also, the timing of the um, dash cancel after the clock one can be a bit difficult sometimes. You want to make sure you let the extra hits come out. You also don't want to do it too late like I did just then, that it just doesn't happen at all. Oh my goodness. There we go. And that's going to be some pretty high damage. 9,700 for a single dash cancel. So that's, that's pretty good stuff. And obviously the same kind of things can be done after the other air thing. So like, say if you're doing your dash and you get the quirk one, you can combo off of that and do this, basically the same combo. Oh god, dash cancel again. Um, you know, that's, that's pretty good damage. Okay, um, I already showed, showed you how to combo into this plus ultra, but other plus ultra combos can be something like this. Oh my goodness. Can you actually combo his combo here? No, no. Um, so it might have to be a little bit somewhere. That'll be some pretty good damage. Well, you can extend that with support. Oh, that's really good damage. 11,600. For really easy hit confirm, it's pretty good. Oh, you can actually get it off of the second hit. Let's see. No, they get yeah, they get knocked to the ground like really easily. Um, yeah, just a quick note on his um plus ultra one as well. It's obviously a really good tool that kind of adds to his anti zoning because it's a very long ranged plus ultra one. I don't think it actually gets him this far. But, um, <laughs> yeah, okay. But, so it's a similar range to this one. So if you're around here and you see them do anything, it has a really huge, like, outwinding hitbox as well. So you're probably gonna... <laughs> Don't do it from that far away, but, yeah. It can be used as a bit of a, um, uh, space control tool as well. But, well, okay. Yeah, and you can combo off of it with this as well. And, uh, yeah, if you want to do, um, just keeping on going for the combos, so this is the bread and butter combo that I say to do. Oops, oops. And if you want to extend it again with another dash cancel, I, oh, my nice, 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 I suggest doing the air extension that I showed you before. So two hits into this. And then you've got two dash cancels, and this is going to be pretty high damage, 11,000 for two dash cancels. This is a bit above dev average damage, so pretty good stuff for Hawks. And obviously you can do the same thing in the air or off of his red attack. Oops, oops. Messed up a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, sorry, this is day one hold, so like hour one hold, so my <laughs> combos are not that consistent. I don't know why that's missing there, actually. Why is he going down suddenly? Am I doing something different? But yeah, you're gonna be able to get more damage off this red attack. Two dash cancels, pretty obvious. Okay. So, um, as you've realized, I have the opponent on recovery. So, if they do something like this, the opponent can recover and they will be like on top of me because for some reason I'm still gliding forward after I do this. So, by the time they recover, they're gonna be like right on top of me. And I have a lot of plus frames, so after I do that, I can take them to these so they can be scared of those feathers coming around to hit them. So he actually has pretty scary wake up game. Even if after you end something like this, he's pretty good plus frames. Going for these, the opponent wakes up, they have to watch them. Because if I end my combo here like this, and throw out the feathers, 
Oops, they get hit by those. I get to go in for an added combo onto the end, and they recover, so it's going to be full damage at the end. So sometimes the opponent is going to be a bit scared of recovering, especially after if I do something like this, they can recover, and depending on this phase here, um, if they recover, I'm very close to them, and you can lead to some like recovery reset, or if I do something like this, I'm left very close to the- I just need to jump into the air, I can to that. Why is that not working now? I have no idea. But you're left very close to the opponent, so a lot of the time after you've done your combos, you can actually end them early. And if the opponent is going to recover... Wait, let me try and get my... Um, and they try and recover and engage and press buttons, you're actually plus on um, plus because... Um, they recovered, so you can attack first after they recover after you do something like this. So if they try and engage you, you can actually just make this an infinite. Like I am now. If they don't try to jump guard or... Yeah, so the only way to avoid... So even after I've done like a long combo like this... Yeah, I'll make it do the single one so I can do that. Oh, oops. oh no, 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 no. Maybe you will be here already. So depending on the spacing, a lot of the time you can just go... Oh yeah, so you have to only let like, the first hit to the armor attack, and then you can be really close. And then you can keep doing this, like, loop infinitely. Just make sure you don't actually make it a dash cancel and do it too early. But yeah, you can essentially do that infinitely. And you add a lot of damage to the end of your combo if they keep falling for it. Because they're keeping on getting reset. And yeah. So, um, this is where what set up for his kind of his recovery mix ups. So, if the opponent's scared to recover because of those resets that I was just showing you before, he actually has. So they decide to not recover because they're scared of those resets that you're going to be doing. This actually opens him up to a ground like reset infinite. So, if he does two hits into this, into this, you can actually combo off of So, if regularly, if they're on recovery, this doesn't actually work. Because they can recover that. Like, say you've scared them out of doing recoveries constantly. So, um, you get scared of you doing those resets all the time. You can actually combo off of this now. And you can only... I found you can only really get, like, one loop, maybe two loops, depending on the space. And obviously that lets you do a, a lot of really long combos for free. So that was zero death cancel, my combo, and plus over to one, and that's gonna be, what, like 14,000? And obviously I can extend the combo normally, um, just like finish the combo normally. So this isn't gonna be any dash cancels, and I'll just do a full combo. Um, oops, I didn't mean to end it like that, but even that was a lot of damage. Oops, I did that a bit late. And I, I ended that wrong as well, but that still did a lot of damage, but I'll try one more time. The timing can be a bit weird, because yeah, if you don't do it fast enough, or if you do it slightly in the wrong timing, it's not going to combo. And here we go, ending this grab, 10,500 damage, zero dash cancels, um, because you scared them into recovering. And this kind of, um, infinite and loop I'm actually okay with, because it's not real and it's very easy to avoid, all you have to do is recover. But, I like it because, well, it's not a real infinite, but also, it's based off the, um, basis of a, a mix -up. so that would have been a little bit there in total if it didn't reset. So it's based on a mix-up, so you've scared them into recovering, so it's basically a mix-up for them, whether they should recover or not. And obviously if the opponent really knows what you're trying to do, they'll be able to recover at the right times. But if you scare your opponent with these resets in the air... Oh wait, he's running into recovery, 
Then they're gonna be scared to recover. And then even if you don't get that full combo with all those loops, you'll be able to get some of them, and that'll just add a lot of even just like doing one of those loops that I showed you of that combo on the ground before, that adds a lot of damage to a, a regular combo of yours. Because obviously after you do that once, like if I do something, like if I did that once and then went into the regular combo, it's still gonna be a lot of damage. I wish I could get them off the ground a bit easier. And depending on the direction that they recover, it's not working very well now. But a lot of the time, this is pretty guaranteed. And yeah, so recovery mix ups. If they recover, um, they're gonna get hit by that. In the air. If they don't recover, you can get hit by at least like even just even just getting hit by one of these loops. You can get you going for the regular combo. It's gonna be really devastating for the opponent because so they decided to not wake up, um, do a recovery once, and I actually got a 10,600 damage combo that time, um, just because they didn't want to recover, when I would usually get about 9,000. So I'm adding almost, like, a, a thousand and a bit to the end of my combos. So, uh, yeah. That's some really interesting mix-ups I found with Hulk. I'll show you plus Hulk two now. You can combo it. It's obviously ground plus Hulk, you can get it up with basically any hit. It's very fast. There we go. Very flashy and very long as well. But, um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about Hulk. He's, you know, I think they've done a good job of balancing him. He doesn't really seem that overpowered or have that many exploits. But he also doesn't seem like weak or like boring because he has all these really interesting tools that have, all have really great applications for different certain situations. So he has good space control with things like this. Which you can get combos off of and they're very good with pressure and plus on block things. So even if they're like, I'm doing something like this, I can throw out these, and if they decide to sidestep, they'll get hit into them. And if I do something like that, and I push them away, they're even more likely to get hit by it, so they're gonna be scared of that. You can press more buttons, so they basically either have to press the attack button, um, cause if they sidestep, they'll get hit by these. And if they sidestep or run away, they'll get hit by them, so they just have to press the attack button, which is scary, because then I can go my yellow attack, and then go into my um, combos. And I'm, yes, I'm not done, actually, because um, Hawks actually has really good block pressure, pressure as well, so a block string that he can do on block, which is going to be something like this, which is almost their entire block, um, their, almost their entire guard meter. Oops, okay, I don't think I connected anything there correctly, but... Oh so basically, yeah, you cancel his regular attack string into his yellow attack. You cancel the yellow attack into his... Um, his tilt quirk to charge. And then cancel that once it hits into his feathers. And that's gonna be basically all of that meter. And you're also safe, because ending anything in this is practically safe, because you're so far away, and it also has pretty far, fast recovery. So there's no way that you're punishing anything that you're not, not only does he have really good pressure, you can also end like, because you know how those gaps between first and second hit. So if they're gonna sidestep or try to click, you, know, you can always choose to end your combos with. Um, on block with that, because that's very safe. There's nothing they can do about this. They're not gonna punish you. Obviously, like, with some plus ultra ones and twos, they can punish you. But, like, regularly, this is completely safe. And even if they do try to, um, like, in, uh, challenge you, or, like, you know, do a red attack or something, you can dash cancel after it for even more pressure. So yeah, really good pressure with force. Um, actually, can you cancel... No, no. But yeah, 
It's good pressure. Pretty decent combos. And I, um, on combos, I think they're only really decent, but they're also really fun to do. Which is something that's really important to me. I love having fun combos to do with the character. Ones that are a bit difficult. Also, he has pretty good mix ups with um, recovery mix ups. Which is something that I love in this game. Which can give him really good damage. Um, he has recovery mix ups from like the air combos as well. Which is obviously the point of recovery mix ups. You can do them in the air or on the ground. And having them combined is what makes them really scary. Um, he has good space control. Not necessarily zoning, because his moves are really rich full screen. But he has good ways to like counter zoning. His um, tilt watching charge is really good for counter zoning as well. So not only does he have plus on block low projectiles, he has a move that completely goes through projectiles. So he seems like he's going to be really good at um, fighting against him. And he also has that um, the controllable dash, which will allow him to um, you know weave his way throughout projectiles. He can throw projectiles while he's dashing. He just seems like an overall very well-rounded, very balanced, um, not that exploitable, but a very like um, solid character that excels at like almost anything in like a basic way. He doesn't have anything too overpowered. He's also definitely I would not I would I would definitely not call him weak because he's really good. Moves. But um yeah, that's my day one breakdown of Hawks. I think he's a really strong character. And yeah, I but just basically did a, a conclusion, so I don't really have anything else to say. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, have fun playing Hawks.